I'm guessing you want to learn how to actually write good copy, right? But you're stuck not knowing how to actually get better or what really goes into writing good copy. You've probably heard all the gurus telling you what to write. They tell you things like, you need to be more attention growing, you need to be more persuasive, but they never break down how to actually do it. And the problem is that leaves you feeling stuck, guessing if what you're doing is right and just writing words, hoping they'll stick like throwing spaghetti at a damn wall. Now, if that sounds familiar to you, then don't worry because I've been there myself. But what if I told you that there was a simple and easy strategy that anyone can use to write good copy without having to pay for a course and without hoping and praying your copy will actually work? Well, stick with me here because in the next few seconds, I'm going to show you exactly that. After spending 9,496 hours of trying to learn how to write good copy, I discovered this one strategy that has actually helped me to write better copy. I've also used this strategy to write copy that actually gets results for my own clients. Results like over 7.5 click-through rates on ads, over 29.25% opt-in rates, and calls just being booked overnight, like two to five a day for my clients even. So pay attention because in the next few seconds, I'm going to break down the exact same strategy for you so you can literally just copy me and actually improve your copywriting so you can start learning how to write good copy right away. So the strategy that I am going to be sharing with you is what I like to call the copy translation strategy. Now, before I break down how the copy translation strategy actually works, I first want you to understand this. I learned this one thing about copywriting from a multi seven figure copywriter called Kyle Milligan. He basically taught me that learning to understand good copywriting is a lot like learning a language. Just imagine this, when you go to learn a language, say for example, it's French or it's Spanish, you'd take a sentence in French or Spanish, for example, and then you would translate the sentence to understand what it really means. It's the same thing with copywriting. The key to writing good copy is understanding the meaning of the words written on the screen kind of like learning a language, translating the words on the screen and basically reading between the lines to see the deeper meaning. Because when your customers read your copy, they are inferring the meaning of your words and sentences that you have written. Thing is, a lot of people think that copywriting is about choosing the right words and how can you write the most fanciest words. But what I've learned, it's not so much about what you say, but it's what you communicate to your reader through the subtext of your words. And that is basically how the strategy works. Now, yes, it does sound very easy to just translate words, but this strategy will be really hard to do right if you do not know the key elements that you are looking for in the subtext of the copy. And these key elements are what really gives the copy its engaging power. But don't worry, because in a minute, I'm gonna be showing you eight key elements that you need to look out for when you do this strategy. But first, I'm gonna break down the strategy right now, then I'm going to reveal to you the eight key elements. So the copy translation strategy breakdown. The first what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece of copy that like a big marketer has written. So for example, some copy from a sales page, emails, or a headline and a subheadline, some bullet points, whatever it is. Basically any piece of copy that just grabs your attention and makes you like want to take action or buy. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna take the copy you've just taken and put it into a separate like document on Google Docs or a Word document and you're gonna start tra translating it by looking for the eight key elements. Now let me show you how I would do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, so this is the piece of copy that I have chosen to basically translate. Now, like I said, what you're gonna do is you're going to get copy from a really good marketer. So for example, Ravi Abuvala is the person I've chosen and this is his sales page. I specifically chose to review like his because he's a very good marketer. Just so you guys know how I actually accessed this sales page, um, all I did was I went through his ad I scrolled on Instagram and I just found his ad. I clicked on it and I went to this page I opted in and I came to this page. Now I'm not going to scroll through Instagram. I'm not gonna scroll through Facebook because let's be real, we all know how to scroll through Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> so if you just, you know, go on, scroll and find an ad of a really good marketer. Don't just find any old ad, but just find a good marketer's ad because if you, if you try to 
more like analyze bad copy there's it will just not be very good um so you want to analyze someone who's really good really big i i specifically advise you to choose something that really does make you like intrigue makes you want to buy makes you want to you know take action but all i want to do is i just want to take his his pre-head, his headline, and his subheadline, and guys, it's okay if you don't have to just take an email, a whole full-blown email, or a whole full-blown, like, sales page, you can do whatever you want, you can take wh however much copy, as long as it's not, like, a sentence, like, you have to take a decent amount of copy for this to actually, like, you, for you to actually learn, the more the better, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is, like I said, copy and paste it into a document, so as you can see here, that is exactly what I have done, I've put it in here for me to review later on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you eight key elements that you can use to actually really learn from this, so to understand the translation behind this. So now, once you've actually got your copy into the document, it's now time to start translating it, and this is where the strategy gets real good, and this is where you learn the most. So as I said, I'm going to be sharing with you eight key elements that you need to look out for in your copy when you're translating it. Now, take a note of these. These are very, very crucial to look out for. I'll save the deeper analysis for future videos, but let me explain why these are so important. And then after the eight key elements, I'm gonna show you a, a live breakdown of me using this copy translation strategy so you can just copy me. Just so you know, these eight key elements will help you understand what goes into writing good copy so you can easily come up with words for your own copy. It will literally like become second nature, like a language where you know exactly what words to say because you understand what you're trying to communicate. So you'll never struggle for words again and you won't have to sit staring at the dreaded blank screen. These eight key elements is what I've used in my client's copy and they've generated like thousands. So here are the eight key elements. First one is new and hopeful. People absolutely love things that are new and different. Your copy should make them feel like very excited and hopeful about something that's like better. Because without it, if it doesn't feel new or if it doesn't like give a sense of hope, then people are gonna think, eh, I've seen this shit before. And they'll simply just ignore your message and just stop paying attention. So making sure it sounds new and it gives off a sense of hope is very important. The second is easy. You have to make your offer seem so easy to do or like a, it's easy to get a result or it's just easy to take action on. Because people love, love things that are simple and that don't take too much work. Because without it, if it seems too confusing or too hard, then they might just think, oh, I can't do this. This is not for me. This is way too hard for me to get a result. It's gonna take me absolutely months and they'll give up reading the rest of your copy before they've even like started. The third key element is safe. People wanna feel safe when they make a choice, when they make a decision. You, you don't wanna take a risk, and whenever there's a risk involved, it makes you skeptical, it makes you hesitate, it makes you wonder like, hold on a second, is this gonna work for me? So you need to show them that they can actually trust your offer and that they won't lose out, they won't risk anything, and they'll actually get results. The fourth key element is big. You want to make sure they know that the results they're going to get are big because for example you want to get abs but you don't just want to get abs you want to get abs overnight you want to get like sexy toned abs that are shiny and you know you, you want to make sure the result feels very big plus big is a very attention grabbing element and it's also like it makes them feel excited if it doesn't seem like a big deal they'll just think well why bother and just move on next key element is unique the fifth key element you have to show what makes your offer like special new unique different now you new and unique are they're similar basically very similar but you have to show that you are different to everyone else on the market who is making the same claims as you the sixth key element is being ultra specific now this is such a good one you have to be clear and exact about what they are going to get or what specifically is the problem you're solving or just being really specific because when you're specific they will trust you way more because if it's too vague they'll wonder well does this really work or stuff like that so for example you can be really specific with your numbers you can be really specific with dates timing 
um, stuff like that. It just makes it more real. The seventh key element is being understandable. Come on guys, it's pretty simple. Just keep your message simple and easy to understand. If it's not clear, then they just won't read it. And the eighth key element is making sure that your offer is useful to them. It's going to solve a problem. It's gonna make their life better. It's gonna give them results. It's gonna do something that's useful to them. People want benefits. They buy benefits, not just features or shiny things or attention grabbing things. If it's, if it's just attention grabbing and it's not useful, then they simply will just be like, okay, well that grabbed my attention, but it's not gonna have benefit me in any way. And they will simply just scroll away. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you the copy translation strategy in live action. And I also have a cool framework, which I'll show you as I go through the strategy that you can easily use to just make this um, even easier. And remember, I've got something for you at the end, which will like speed this whole thing up for you. But for now, let me show you so that you can really understand how to do this. Okay, so let's use the copy translation strategy in action. This is literally where you learn the most. Anyone can copy and paste um, copy from a sales page. Anyone can copy and paste an email onto their Google Doc. But if you do not know how to do this, then you won't learn anything. And I've done this for months and I've gotten really good at copy. So this is what we're gonna do. So first of all, Keeping in mind the eight key elements, okay? If you write them down, make sure you've got them. If you haven't, go back and write them down, but they should be somewhere, hopefully. Um, but I'm just gonna analyze this for you so you can really see how the strategy works. So here we have the pre-head, okay? So what can, what can we take from the pre-head? Now, there's one thing I said I was gonna do. I was gonna give you this really cool framework to, I wanted to show you is it works like this. So you take the word phrase or sentence from that specific piece of copy and then you connect it to one of the key elements or element or elements if there's only one it's fine if there's not um, but that's the framework i'd use so for example let's say you're translating like bonjour right bonjour fucking french right bonjour what does that mean it means hello in english right so it's the same thing for example um, we can take trusted by 2,000 plus coaches, right? That is an example of safe, right? And what another thing I advise you to do, uh, just keep in mind this uh, framework, guys. Let me just highlight it for you. Keep in mind this really cool framework, okay? Trusted by 2,000 plus coaches, consultants, agencies, and service-based businesses. That is conveying safe. That, but what I advise you to do is like really deeply analyzes what does it make you think when you hear this what does it really mean but safe is what this means now that's a pretty preheads are pretty simple to analyze but the headline is something i want to go through so and and by the way you may not find every one of the elements you might not find all eight key elements in the the text that you're um, analyzing you might just find new and big and easy and safe you might just find that NESB, you might just find useful and unique. You might not find other ones, but it's okay. But as long as you find them, then that's your brain will start to subconsciously understand like a language that, oh, this is what it means basically. So here we go. Learn how we can build you. So, okay, this is pretty simple, how we can build you, okay? What 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 does this simple the simple damn sentence even mean, right? I know it sounds so simple, but what does it mean? It's done for you, which means it's easy. Yes, it's easy, right? This is the easy key element, which means it's, it's easy, right? If it's done for you, we will build it for you. It's easy, which means getting results will be hopefully a lot more faster, so that's it. Next, right? Here we go, here's the next bit. So, custom end-to-end -end marketing system that is booking you five plus sales calls per day in the next seven days. There's a lot to unpack here, okay? So, custom end-to-end -end marketing system. Now, there's, there's, there can be multiple like meanings to a one simple one sentence. Um, so, don't be afraid to like do that. It's not just one key element, it can be multiple. But for example, this one, I would say is pretty, it's like slightly unique in a way because not a lot of people have a, you know, a custom marketing system. 
I guess you could say it's kind of useful, kind of useful because you're going to make them a marketing system. Um, I would say it's the unique part. That's the unique part of it. Understandable as well. Which means it's clearly telling you, here's what we do for you, right? This is where it gets actually really interesting. Booking you five plus sales calls per day in the next seven days. What does this mean, right? This means it's useful and highlighting the key benefit of the thing, right? That's it's useful. Okay, so we've got safe, we've got easy. Look, we've got safe, we've got easy, we've got kind of unique. We've also got useful. Okay, we've got all of this. Technically, we've got big. Okay, it's not. It's it's big because it's saying five calls in the next seven days, right? In a week, you're going to be getting this. So in a week, right? Five calls per day, five times. That's thirty-five calls per week, right? That is big. Right, that is big. We've got useful, we've also got big, and technically we've also got, I, I guess you could say it's slightly specific because you're saying five plus calls per day, and you're also saying in the seven days as well. So there are those three key elements in like one sentence there. It's, this is how you, this is what, this is the true meaning behind this stuff. And once you understand these elements that go into copy, you can really start to see like how to really craft copy that really makes people attention grabbing because you have to have all these elements in place. And you can, you'll start to notice like, oh, my copy needs a bit more of this. It's like cooking, like, oh, it needs a bit more herbs and spices. You taste it, it's like, mm, it needs a bit more of that. It needs a bit more of this, it's kind of like that. Let's analyze the sub. I really like this sub actually using a unique blend of content and paid ads see that oh that's a good one this is a very good example of unique very very unique be bloody saying is unique so it's unique he's also being clear as to like what does he actually do for you like what is the method another part is turn strangers into all of this stuff here. So turn strangers into sales calls that show up, buy and pay in full. That, I don't know if you've noticed here, like, what do you think? It, this is actually useful, right? Very, very useful. Cause you need calls, you, you need them to show up, you want them to buy and you would like them and would love them to pay in full, right? So that is super useful right there. That is like a huge, thing it's actually quite it's got an element of big because if someone says to you i'm not just going to get them to show up i'm going to get them to i'm going to get you calls i'm going to make sure they show up and i'm going to make sure they buy it and pay in bloody full that is that is a big claim huge claim it's attention grabbing right and it's it's slightly specific because he's telling you like he's telling you exactly what you're going to get right so Okay, so the last one, even in today's trust recession, right? This, I would say that's an element of ease, easy, because getting someone to trust you is hard. It's not easy. Like, especially in today's trust recession, right? It's not easy to get someone to trust you. Like, for example, if you've been following me for a very long time, it's not an easy thing to get, like, build that connection and trust with you. I have to really show you why you should trust me. Why should you listen to me? So that's why it's an element of ease saying it's going to be easy for me to get clients, even if it's hard in today's day and age, basically is what he's saying. So if we go back to the eight elements, if we was to tick it off, he's got new, he's got easy, he's got safe, he's got big, he's got useful, he's got unique, ultra specific and understandable. This in just a few lines, I don't even know how many words this is, but that's not a lot of words, as you can see in the purple. And it's and it's really good copy, right? He's used all eight elements and that is what makes good copy, guys. So now you know exactly what goes into good copy and how to actually write good copy. What I recommend you do is I recommend that you do the copy translation strategy like on a daily, right? And even 
even if it's simply just translating a simple headline and a subheadline like I just did here. Or it doesn't have to be like a full blown sales page or, or it can be a full blown sales page in an email if you would like. It can be some ad copy. It can be like a, a transcription of an ad or a section of a VSL book. Just give yourself a variation throughout the week. But if you do this daily, like I do, watch your skills improve day by day. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, I've got something for you. I've put this whole entire strategy into a mini cheat sheet for you to take away to really drive home this strategy. So if you're unclear or if you just wanna go back and have a look or there's some extra stuff in there that you might wanna see, all you have to do is go to the link in the description of this video and you can download the cheat sheet for free and just instantly download it. But with that being said, if this was useful to you, make sure to comment if you're new here I'm glad to have you here in this community, so make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.